Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new weekend video on Steam on the Epic Game Stores, my friends. And we are going to jump directly into it because I don't want to waste your time. So, And yeah, I know some of you are really getting angry if I say words like friends, guys, but come on, come on, come on. So, free games, the silent age, Tunche. All of this this week, Blazing Cells and Dying Light Enhanced Edition. Wow, 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 wow. So I, I would really say Dying Light Enhanced Edition. So this is the first one. That's not the second one, obviously. And Blazing Cells, also pretty cool. That uh, we are going to get those games for free next week. That's pretty, pretty amazing. So also, also we have Crime Boss is now available and Crime Boss is a game by Embracer or by a 505 uh, Games, 505 Game Studios. And uh, it's 34 euros and it's a game a little bit, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit like like uh, Payday, I think. And it is ESG, so Epic Game Store, EGS, EGS, so Epic Game Store exclusive. So this game is not on Steam. And I personally, I'm very angry on this because I think it's a super interesting title. So I think it looks good. Uh, it looks like a game I want to play. So, And it also has a very good, uh, interesting uh, uh, sale and then Probably this is one of those games where I could even consider uh, getting them my or getting it myself on the Epic Games. So, so I'm going to play a little bit more on the Epic Games so, because I like the overall idea behind this. And then Last of Us Part 2 also on the Epic Games. So then, my friends, we also have that Island. We have Cheers, uh, Square Enix. So Square Enix we also had on Steam and we have the Bofta awards and we can learn more there so i'm not going into details now so let's jump directly to steam and on steam i have to show you first or already the current steam sales because here you see directly that we have midnight ghost hunt midnight ghost hunt is play for free and i think we also had another title here play for free there are also some other free weekends so but midnight ghost hunt is to play for free and you see also a bunch of titles that have uh, this blue percentage here that means those games have never been that cheap before never been that cheap before so they are now cheap for the first time or this cheap for the first time so what else we have my friends so always scroll down and then we come to this awesome page here across the obelix free weekend sifu and the last of us we have to check if actually the uh, it has been uh, uh, the, the ratings have become better so we have across the obelix which is a roguelike deck builder game so are you interested in roguelike deck builder games are you interested in deck builder games in general so i'm personally not but you can play this now for three days for free so maybe this is interesting for you Ooh, a london game festival i love it sometimes i don't really see those events and then i have to click on a game in order then to see those event so here we have sifu sifu saifu is it sifu realistic third person prolo with tight kung fu combat mechanics and cinematics martial arts action embarking on a pass for revenge very positive rated my friends and slow clap kepler interactive so looks interesting 36 years a little bit pricey a little bit pricey so is it a game that i would get immediately so probably for me person or for me not probably, but for me personally, this is a game a little bit down the road. So let's check also London Games Festival. Freshing games. We like all sorts of games, just like our players, whether it's a rhythm based, technicolored adventure, a cute co op puzzler, or a futuristic shooter. I always like to look at the upcoming games. So. So this is those are the games that I'm really interested in. And we have a whole list here of upcoming games. So we can uh, jump directly or very quickly through this. Oh my god, so much. So but then I'm 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 leaving some for you to also check out. So I'm not going to go into all of those upcoming games, but definitely click on the London Games Festival and check out some of those upcoming games, of course, yourself. It's it's an event, it's a festival, doesn't mean it's a, it's then a necessarily a sale. So what we have here, we have a game that's called Squad Bloss. Also, we can download a demo for this title. So now the internet seems to get a bit slowly. So that's my problem. All right. Ah, mass massive multiplayer shooter. So also, yeah, why not? Interesting. Lost Twins we have. Lost Twins. This looks very nice. Play played you also with a demo. So the, the, the game London Game Festival also gives us some pretty nice demos. Check this out. And then we have a game that's called Vessels of Decay. Vessels of Decay. 
also very slow here the internet so i'm very sorry for this so pixel graphics and puzzle new and archery so this looks also definitely like a very fun little game that i would play on my steam deck let me out let me out oh oh this looks a bit creepy a little bit scary so for happy studio also very cool and then we have a game called arctic awakening choices meta open world narrative though 2677 follows already gold fire studio so who are those so this looks also oh this looks also pretty nice pretty nice looks a bit like a uh, what's the name again of this game that plays in canada guys so what's the name again sometimes i really really have a really really i have some is to remember myself but you know what i mean so also looks like a very cute nice little game kaku ancient sail uh, ancient seal this looks also very interesting so adventure combat also some double we call them double a game so this is an indie game roguelike shooter roguelike action shooter so this looks cool oh this looks like a game i would like to play on my steam deck then the last of us so <laughs> <laughs> yeah you see it already so i'm closing some pages here my friend so we see it already 37 percent negative so i made a video for this game uh for this uh, uh for this last of us uh terrible disaster lounge i made a video and uh, <laughs> i got so nasty comments on this video it was so funny to read them but my friends if you really get so angry then please don't watch my channel so online now 17,000, 18,000 uh, viewers so i'm not i'm i can tell you that uh, i thought this game is was from the playstation 3 because i read this somewhere and of course this is some sort of a remake so i should have said this so but uh, it's simply as this so there uh, the news comes out very quickly and i make a video about this so i have no time to lose i have no time to lose oh no i don't have to excuse myself obviously this is my channel but you know i can't i'm not going to make uh, uh, hours and hours of research so that's not the way i'm doing it so but you see still negative 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 so what shall i say people don't like it world War Z is on sale for 20 euros so that's a good game if you don't have this yet so that's definitely a game you can consider putting on your wish list maybe it's getting a little bit cheaper as well and then we have the tabletop cyberpunk title citizen sleeper uh, it's just not my choice i don't like uh, too much text adventures i have to say i think i'm too old for text adventures so someone would say oh old old people like you mr orange they should uh, play text adventures so no 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 no, no my friends i am too old for text adventures so and tropy center we can check out midnight ghost hunt very quickly build a simulator oxygen not included we have a forza horizon sale that's also very nice a greedfall sale one piece world seeker so everyone that likes those games knows this travelers rest or oh, trustless looks interesting and of course we also have an e electronic art sale so not not to forget the electronic art sale so here let's close this the entropy center oh also part of the london uh, games festival first person story rich funny so who doesn't like a first person story rich funny title looks interesting but it's again a game that where i probably would play it i don't know if i really would play it so much so the entropy game so maybe a good game that i once uh, once going to get on a on a bundle midnight ghost hunt so well play for free play for free three days or you can buy it for 6.79 is it a game i personally would play uh, i have to honestly say i'm not so interested in those multiplayer games so i'm definitely not going to play this game this weekend doesn't mean it's bad so but it's just me it's just me my friends i like a good solo player game and at the moment i should still play a lot of children of mortar and i like this game so definitely nice pixel stadio Valley pixel art graphics so building a little house oh my god i have i have like the most powerful pc that you can buy as a as a retail uh, a gamer at the moment and i just like to play games like this so if you also like like me then comment please uh, yeah write me a comment so this would be would give me some uh, satisfaction to see that other people are like me like me 
uh, with their game. So Sons of Forest had a nice update. Resident Evil 4 is still overwhelming positive. Dredge is a very interesting game. Exploration Adventure, Lovecraftian. So I wanted to check this out actually a little bit closer together with you because you know it, you know I always like to check out those games with you. I think that's the most fun to for me personally to do it. So Terra Nile and then we have Above Snakes Prologue and Metal Dark. So you see guys we have a lot to cover on my channel. So with Night Sun, Ghost Town we can already shut down and dredge, stretch, 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 exploration, adventure, Lovecraft. Ah so, oh, come on, why is it not loading? So I don't know. It's so slow sometimes, guys. So it's so slow. It's really sad. So I like the style, I like the graphics. And it's a fishing exploration game. So, I mean, who doesn't like a good Lovecraftian fishing title? So, but if we only would see the pay, the pictures. So, that's the problem. If I'm... Oh, Ravenbound. Oh, Ravenbound. Mostly negative. So, I mean, it's not really a, 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 a game that has been probably so anticipated. But it's a game that looks already nice on the pictures. But in the end, turns out... Most probably it turns out that this game is not that good. So... Looks pretty, game seems pretty good, but you need to be online to play it, so, but other reasons. So let's move on, not waste our time with games that are bad, so, says the one who, who writes, uh, who makes videos about bad games, or bad, bad launches, not games are bad. So Undead Horde, Necropolis, Action RTS, RPG Adventure, so that looks very cool. I would play this 13 euros, still a bit pricey for me. Then we have Terranil, 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 also very, very cool. I played the demo actually for Terranil. I think I enjoyed this. So it's a game where you have to, to instead of building a, a settlement or a city, you are <laughs> claiming back nature. You are claiming back nature. So this was actually pretty cool. Above Snakes, Prolog. So I was wondering if this is something I want to play. So let's have a look. Cryptible Square Glade Games. Very positive, 86% are positive. So, you awake in a destroyed settlement and help the survivors rebuild it. After that, expand the world with world pieces, craft farm, hunt, build the base, and fight to find out more about what happened. Okay, that that's nice. I mean, I like that I can build this little house. The graphics are cool, so... I would say, guys, we should, ooh, we should try this. So, Mr. Orange said again, guys, so <laughs> someone's getting very angry. So, but hey, that's a game we should try out. We should try out. And then we have Metal Dogs, Casual Dog Cute RPG, Hack and Slash. So, what's that for a mix? So, can't really say what this game is all about. 1679, well, doesn't really fancy me, so immediately. All right, with that... I'm leaving it here. It was a long video for the weekend. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And uh, also check out the Steam database. You're going to see if there are some good deals uh, of games that have never been that cheap before. Like, for example, Jurassic World Evolution, and uh, Lilies, and, 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 even more. So, even more. So, I see already some very interesting titles. So, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.